Today I'm out in the shop replacing my four-wheel drive hub locking vacuum solenoid. I'm doing this on a 2005 F-150 and the vacuum solenoid is located here on the right side of the truck in the engine compartment or the passenger side behind the battery and to the right side of the PCM. Now I've got dual batteries in my truck so it makes a tight fit here. It's much easier to see if you've got the stock Group 65 battery in this location gives you more room back here. With this truck, my truck is the same as any 2004 through 2008 generation F-150, but this information will be helpful for any four-wheel drive equipped 1997 through 2018 Ford F-150 or 2006 through 2008 Mark LT. The 1997 through 2018 Expedition and the 1998 through 2018 Navigator, the 1995 through 1996 Explorer, the 1997 through 1999 Non Super Duty F 250, and all of the 2011 through 2018 Super Duty trucks the F 250, F 350, F 450, and the F 550. I have many other videos showing general automotive work, modifications, and tips. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing and watching the other videos. To subscribe, just click the Styles Automotive icon in the lower right of the screen. These automatic hub solenoids commonly fail on my generation of F-150 because it's located here, like I said, on the right side of the truck, a passenger side and the water from the windshield and the cowl come down and will run right onto it. You can see I've used an aftermarket solenoid in my truck with that's shielded. It's like this one that comes shielded. The original equipment was not and it's vented at the top so water could get into the solenoid and ruin it, cause it not to actuate anymore. Of course it's an electric component so it'll fail. To replace it, all you do is remove the electrical connector, remove the vacuum connector. It's a molded one piece electric, uh, vacuum connector that uh, just simply pulls off and then it connects to the source vacuum line from the engine side and then goes down under the firewall down to the hubs to unlock the hubs. So simply pull off the electrical connector. It's got a tab at the top that simply pulls off and it's two 10 millimeter nuts. So on this side, on my truck, it's got a wiring harness tab there that simply needs to be pulled off. So they're studded with nuts on them. I recommend you use anti-seize when you put them back on, but on a truck that doesn't have a 65 group battery, I use a combination wrench on mine, or I have to remove this second battery to get mine out. But on a stock truck with a Group 65, you use a 10 millimeter deep well socket on a quarter inch ratchet is all you need. So again, a little dielectric grease, a good nickel anti-seize. And you can see for mine, once I got it out, it's easier to access this ground right there. There's a ground back there, so make sure you take time and clean that up. There's also a PCM ground right over here. So if I were to take this battery out and then take my solenoid out, I'd clean up that ground there and that ground over there. If there's a ground on your, on your uh, mounting nuts, then make sure you clean that up as you're doing this. So I did a video that describes how this operates, how the four wheel drive automatic hub system and the transfer case actuator operate and how to troubleshoot it. For more information on this system, be sure to see that video. This video is simply on how to remove it because I didn't want the other video to get so long and talk about removing it. So if you want to know more information about the operation of this solenoid and how to bypass it, be sure to see that video. Now that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe.